this your ranch? Thought it was. Thought this place to have a little peace and quiet in my old age. There's been an awful lot of fussing going on around here nowadays, though. Out of state and town. The Federal Marshal. I'm looking for a certain Martin Rojas. <laughs> Them two was also looking for Martin Rojas. Don't know who they was, but looks to me like they found him. So I see. Well, thanks. If you're after him, God bless you.
Hey, come on. That's him, right behind that wall. Oh, no, 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 What's going on? Use your eyes, stranger. This one killed five men, but we can take care of him without your help. Where's Rojas? How do I know? We gotta wait. Come on, men, get that rope ready. We're wasting time. Here, give me that. I am the Federal Marshal. I'm telling you all now, if anyone takes the law into his own hands, he lived to regret it. Where's the sheriff? The sheriff ain't here, Marshal. But I'm Ned Wildy, his deputy. Well, how do you do, Ned? Go get that fella there and take him on over to the jailhouse. He ought to hang. He's a killer. Well, let the judge decide that. causing any damage. There's no need to call me unless things get worse. It's all yours. Are you ready to tell us where we can find Rojas? I don't know, senor. I just know he got away, that's all. You know that he killed five men? No, only three, senor. And the others? I killed them, senor. And with pleasure. Alone. I hope you realize that you've become an accomplice to this man who disappeared. A man who spread a reign of terror over the territory of New Mexico about ten years ago. He's committed about every crime in the book. Now, why would you help a man like that? But, senor, Rojas wasn't simply a bandido. The Mexicanos lived up on the mesa in the middle of the Sierra Blancas, and Martin was just another Mexicano. It's useless to try to tell you how we felt about ourselves. But even though we were just poor people, we were happy in our valley. The work was hard, but we had a dream, one that never came true. Cuba! Pablo! Come here! All of you, quick! I have something to tell you. Martin Rojas is going to become a father! I have a fine son! Hey, Maria, hey, come oh. here. <laughs> bueno, bueno. Congratulations, Congratulations, Maria. Congratulations, Maria. Congratulations, Maria. Maria. Mm, we'll have a good harvest yet. Eh? Will you let me go? Do you think you are the first man to have a son, Maria? Now they won't be able to say that this valley grows nothing but wheat. We'll have a drink to my son and to my wife. We drink to all our sons, that they learn more than we, and that each man here with pride can stand up beside his son. And most important, that there is peace among us and the Americans. You'll see. And if we have a fine harvest, there is hope. Rojas, look. It looks like the place of Emiliano Cuevas. Oh, well, this 
simple, happy fellas, they gather together. Now, ain't that a pretty sight? Ain't that real nice? I'm glad I found you all in one place. I wanted to talk to you. Hey, how about your hats? Can't you learn a little from Rojas, or are they glued to your heads? You need schooling. There's a thing or two I'll teach you. Senor Marlowe, what do you want from us? I'm going to clean out this valley of you and your amigos. I need a land to feed my cattle. But you yourself told us you would never put us off this land. You don't belong here. That land there is yours. Emiliano Cuevas had sense enough to know the right thing to do. Why don't you use a little sense and go on home where you belong? Why, this is my land. You know it is. This is no longer Mexico. It's about time you get out of here. But what use then to have worked this land with our blood and pride? That's something you ain't entitled to. You've lost the war, so you all better get used to the idea, because that's the way it is. Now you start heading toward Mexico. Hardy, go ahead. Give us at least until the morning. No, my wife isn't there. Maria Andrea, run, run. got away, Martin. He will be afraid to come back. Now we shall all help you rebuild your house again, eh? No. It's too late now. There's no future for us here. There's no place but across the Rio Grande. They'll come back with many men. Now go get your families. We'll be leaving. If any here wants to join his family, do it now. There is still time and we will understand. Good. Then we all agree. We have some important work ahead of us. But you are one from the beginning. We must stand as one in mind and body if we wish to win. The gringos think the war is finished. That our lives here are finished. But there are surprises. So we'll show them. Vamos! Say your prayers, amigo. Martin, someone's coming quick. We must hurry. Huh?
Martin, the Gringos are coming here. Martin! Martin. Come on. Take him away. Having examined the evidence brought forward by the public prosecutor and having proved the participation of the accused in the criminal action afore charged, the court finds that these two men are both guilty of armed robbery. Silence in the courtroom. However, taking into consideration the fact that they gave themselves up willingly to the law without a show of force, in the name of the state of New Mexico, this solemn court condemns Andreas Corranza, also known as Yuma, to no more than ten years hard labor. Who as organizer had primary responsibility. Here condemned to 20 years hard labor. Sentence is passed. Justice must be equitable with all men. Silence for the court. Shall be also with these two. The court is adjourned. Not to be free. To be where he is. It's for his sake that I must be free. He has no one but me. No, you can't! Got to get out now! Let's go! Get out of here! Get out of here! Look at him sleeping. He hasn't eaten a thing. Poor thing. Did he give you any trouble? No, poor fellow. Awfully quiet, isn't he? I don't know. But I think the sheriff's life's a bit too dangerous for a family man. You were telling me something once about a small farm you wanted me to buy. What was the name of that place? Quemados.
Have you seen Yuma? He's out there. You just watch where you're going. This whole mine's about to explode. Yuma. Yuma. A letter has just arrived for me. Read it. Go on. Is it one? Has it got anything to do with my boy? Has it got news of him? No. No, it hasn't. Senor Stacy says he wants to take steps to legally adopt him. He asks that you renounce all rights to him by signing this paper. Well, I won't sign it. The boy is mine! Don't they know that? Quiet, Martin. The guards will hear you. My only hope is to get away. I must escape. Martin. Can't you see I must? Martin, don't be foolish. Listen to Try me. Try to stop me and I'll kill you, Yuma. Hey, what's going on up there? Joking. It's not trouble. Sure, that's all we're doing. Well, this ain't no playground. Fast, back where you were. All right, I'm going. Now listen to me, you. You only got a day to go. Si, senor, that's right. Now, it'd be too bad to have to spend another two years here just for having a little fun, wouldn't it? It sure would, senor. I brought you a suit and a gun. Vamanos! I 
thought I'd know who he was. I'm sure he's one of those. There's no other school to send him to around this place. <laughs> I guess I shouldn't ask about it, Pa. What do you want to ask? Uh, I guess I shouldn't ask. All right, maybe you shouldn't. But it's my birthday today, though. Well, I wonder what happened to me. Why, I probably would have forgot it. I went out and bought this. It's mine? Well, what do you think? It's great, Pa. Thanks. It's what I wanted. It's a badger. And with this designer, it seems like it's gold. That's what the man in the store said. I thought you needed something to sharpen your pencils with. Thank you. I got from Pa? A knife, why look. The handle on it is made out of solid gold. I have another present for you. Want to open it? Can I, now? We got you a... What did you say it was, Fred? Encyclopedia. Oh, encyclopedia. In those two books is a summary of all you could want to know about the science of man. But is it really everything about man inside? Well, it's a good beginning. <laughs> no, first make a wish, then try to blow out all the candles at the same time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> all right for you. <laughs> That's just fine, Juan. Well, that's more than I could do. <laughs> All right, come on now. Give me a good piece. Is this enough, Pa? Oh, no, that's too much. That's half the cake. <laughs> <laughs> come on, Juan. Take some of this back. Martin. Martin. It's time. We should be going. Come on, amigo. <laughs> Here, take it along, sir. Only God knows when will be the next time. Okay. Ah, here, Fernando. With this, you should be able to marry your Rosita. Huh? Go on, you have it coming. After all, it's our own money. 
because the gringos stole it from the Mexicanos and now it's returned to the Mexicanos. Huh? $1,000, huh? In Siuma, I'm a Mexican that's worth a lot of money. Hmm? Hmm. Who would think they pay so much for a Mexicano? I've become a great nuisance to them. Mm. My picture's even in the big newspapers of the East, and you know what my name is? They call me the Wolf of Sierra Blanca. You know? I like that name. Yeah. <clears throat> oh. What is it? What's the matter? You could always be betrayed. Don't you know that? Each day it's more dangerous. You'd be tempted by such money yourself. I'm afraid for you. A woman is always afraid. Is it bad because I want you to stay mm. here with me? It may be. The gringos must answer for what they've done. I have a man's heart, not the heart of a woman. And if I'm too old to finish this, my son will fight for me. Until he can be proud to be called a Mexican. I will answer their hate with our hate. Once you said from the Americanas you want only peace. What have we instead, amigo? What good does it do? He's still coming. What'll I do? Well, I don't know. Try to shoot him in the leg. Which leg shall I shoot? You pick the one you can get. But it's difficult to walk around if you only got one leg. Vamos. What do you want? Stop where you are, or we'll have to shoot you. We don't like to have strangers coming around here, so you better get going. I want to see Rojas. Ah, you do, do you? Well, I don't think that Rojas will want to see you. Now pick up your gun and get out of here quick. We don't feel like killing anybody today. This might change your attitude towards strangers. Joaquin, come we take us amigo to Rojas? What could happen to the great sparrow hawk if his visitor is only a sparrow? Bueno. <laughs> Vamos, gringo. <laughs> Good. What about my proposition? Hmm? I'm not interested in your proposition. Rojas, my plan can't fail. Why? That bank, I know backward and forward. You do like the smell of money, don't you? Depends how much money there is. You got me? And how much money is worth the risk you and I have to take? Huh? How much would you settle for? <laughs> Suppose I let you tell me. I wonder, I wonder if you know what real money is. There's going to be 150,000 arriving any day now. And how do you know it's coming? That concerns only me. Mm, let's see. Ah, uh, yeah, I meant to tell you. It's not the best plan to leave your gun lying in front of a perfect stranger. He might shoot someone. Now, don't you worry about me. I said it there. <clears throat> this one works a lot better. Watch this stranger. <laughs> Have you
you got everything ready? It has all been done. We are waiting for you. We'll return by morning. And as for tonight, I don't want you to worry about me. I've told you it's the last time for me. I promise. I promise it is. Keep this with you. Oh, Sheriff, I'm so nervous. I can't think straight. I don't know what I'm going to do with all that cash inside there. I wouldn't worry your head this morning. We'll be watching the bank like you asked. Sheriff! What's going on? Better find out. Why, yes, it's a pleasure. Trouble, Sheriff. What happened? This farmhand said that Rojas has held up the stagecoach from Santa Fe. At the stage, senor. They're asking me to say that they are in Yucca. Let's go. Hey, what's happening there? Don't know. From where we're sitting, looks like trouble. You stay here. You get that stink cart out of there. Hear what I said? Get it out of there. Now! What's the matter? You deaf? Bueno. Rojas. Go back to your post. I can't let you do this. That is, that is, uh, it's pleasure. Here are the forms. I don't know how to write, amigo. I must learn to do it in the future. Uh, if you gringos choose to burn or push us off our land, at least lend us a hand to start again. And since to make a loan is too much trouble, we'll just take it, claro. But don't you realize this is most unethical? Ah, oh, si. Uh, but we have broad security. Is it enough for you, senor? Yes, that'll do. Alma! Open the safe, please. You're very helpful, senor director. Yes. I'll have to help you someday. One moment. I uh, forgot one little thing. The receipt is the hat. Let's go. 
We're back. Maria. What happened? Is it the baby? Let me go. Where's the doctor? What doctor? There's no doctor in Yapo. Then go to Nogales right now and bring one back as fast as you can. Use force if necessary. Why don't you go in, Martin? and his new bandido. <laughs> He's gone too far. Already Rojas has gotten across the Rio Grande. He must surely be in Mexico. We won't go across the border. Red, be careful. I won't have a moment's peace until you're back to me. Don't worry. We'll be back before sunset. All that money, one hundred thousand dollars. I know a little gal can spend it all by herself. Now you take care of it, huh? You know that it is better to have a lot of money under the bed than to have one woman on top of it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll spend it on a pair of bright eyes. Your share can go to those poor people of yours. <laughs> Adios! Adios, amigo! Adios! do that, Buck. You ever heard of the Gadsden Agreement? Yeah, sure, but... Well, General Santa Ana sold this part to the United States, all the way from Gila to Nogales. The border is 10 miles further south. The agreement was signed two days ago. Let's go. Come on.
know him. That boy. Why should I want the boy with me? Why should it matter so? After all this time, I can't care that much. A man should not listen to his heart. But that's all changed. I'm strong again, no? I'm Rojas the Wolf. Now the one no boy. I have already disowned him. The lobo. <laughs> You are my amigo. The only one left now. If you have a friend a menace or something, there is still hope for him. And there is hope for us too. We'll be rich. It's not for me, Martin. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Something's happened. Somehow I just want to live in peace. Ah, you become old then. And you become afraid. Strange how a man is. Not even money could change me now. I've had enough of you. Adios, Martin. Fine day. I thought you were an early bird. Trevor! Oh, well, you always <laughs> come at the right moment. <laughs> hey, look here. If I were in your shoes, I wouldn't want to get seen around this place. I think you're taking a chance when they can see your picture in every sheriff's office from Texas to California. But I've only been out for four days. Ah, then you don't have any idea how the world's progressed, do you? A new invention, for instance, called the Telegraph, sends news all over the place. For example, we'll say at 10, they rob a bank in Neville. Eh? Well, by 12, they know all about it in Susan. But now you play a joke, no? No. <laughs> it's a little thin wire that transmits electrically over many hundreds of miles, many thousands of words. <laughs> Oh, far. What? For hundreds of miles, yeah. they send words. How do they squeeze them inside? <laughs> Want to wet your whistle? Mm -hmm. Hey. Hey, okay. <laughs> Hey, you're not good. Uh. Hmm. You've been uh, hmm. lucky, eh, my friend? <laughs> yeah, keep it. Eh? Anyone of real quality will always help his friends when they need him.
all that. It's a long way to this place of yours, huh? That's why it's worth having. Whenever I want to avoid a meeting with a sheriff, I like a little refuge hidden away. What did you say the name of that talking wire was? <laughs> Very simple. Telegraph yeah, wire. But I'm going to speak on it. <laughs> much anymore. Amigos, this is Martin Rojas, the man who made even the rattlesnakes tremble when they saw him coming. <laughs> Four of the boys aren't here yet. There's only the younger generation. That one's Lucas. Oh, oh hello. Uh, Mahoney? Uh, uh-huh. And Monk. He's the cleanest one. <laughs> I'm offering you my hand, amigo. I'm Martin Rojas, and I'll take insults like that from no one. Well, you're going to take a lot of things you ain't never took before. <laughs> Boy, you're getting awful old. You just don't want to admit your day is gone, right? Watch it. <laughs> Pride can be so destructive. So can we. I want you to tell me something. What'd you do with all that dinero? That quarter of a million dollars, eh? Where are they? That's a great sum of money. You must be getting itchy for it about now. So am I, Rojas. Bring him here. Take a turn. Let me. Ha, 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 ha. 
<laughs> a quarter million dollars. Where'd you hide it? Hijo de mierda. You just tell us the place you're hiding it. Understand me, kid? In the trees down there's a farm with a broken leg, poor thing. Couldn't we find a doctor? Sure. I can't stay, but I can show you where he is. Come on. After he's well, you can take care of him. Can I? I don't see why not. I'd be happy to refresh your memory if you like. Martin, amigo, you know it's going to be a lot easier if you tell me rather than make us go through that all over again. $250,000. Tell us where they are and you go free. It's so simple. You prefer to suffer? Doesn't matter. It's all the same to me. I can wait. Leave me alone! I want to go home! Ow! Baby, let's go! Shut up and do what I tell you. Now get over there. You're hurting my arm! Ow! Oh, ooh, you cry, baby. Gentlemen, I'm going to help him decide. I think you better get the boy's shirt open. Kid, don't you think so? Trevor's really good at persuasion. Well, it was persuasive. You can understand how we feel about it. It's just that 250,000 bucks is a lot of money. There's much more than that, amigo. Huh? Trevor told us only that you got 250,000. You had better talk to him. <laughs> Don't you have no kibble? I can't kibble, but no 
Hey, hey, Lobo. Drink some American coffee. It'll do your Mexican stomach real good. I cannot drink with my hands tied behind oh. my back. Listen to the terror of Mexico talking. You know, I once had a little dog that could drink without his hands. He'd just stick his snout in the coffee <laughs> and slurp it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you, Stillman, your dog was a lot smarter. <laughs> Good evening, who is you? What is your name? One. Thank you. These men that brought you here, you made them angry at you? No, they are not angry. It's all over now. You're just saying that. In case you need to use it, I got a knife inside this shirt. Quiet. That's enough. Go on now. <laughs> really a sweet kid. <laughs> Why don't you relax a little, Rojas? Come on, I brought you a smoke, too. Is there really half a million? You better ask Trevor. <sighs> now the whole thing's simpler if he doesn't think I know. That would spoil it. <sighs> Why do we split it? I don't know. Maybe if the boy were to go. Oh, he'd come with us. It's my only guarantee. Mm Going to untie me? I still don't trust you. You yet. want the money? You hit it. What about? I put it there under that old stone bench. You'll find it very heavy. No thanks. I'm strong as a horse. I can lift it myself. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Well, I'll be. You were right all along. May not be quite half a million, but it'll, it'll sure do. But right for one man to live nice and easy. It's too much for you, monk amigo mio. <laughs> has his kid with him, he won't risk trying to cross that desert. You can't outguess him. That's what Monk tried to do. Wherever he's headed, he's bound to go back to Camaras. Juan, you should eat something. You know, a growing boy should eat well. You're afraid because I shot that man, aren't you? No, I forgot about it. Oh, you must listen to me, Juan. You would kill the scorpion, eh? It's true, isn't it? That one was going to kill us, so I kill him like the scorpion. There are more scorpions still waiting. Mexicans prefer wine, did you know that? Don't move, wait for me. I'm forced to. Carry this for a while. Vamos, niño. Look at 
that one. Huh. We're safe. It's the wire that talks. Huh. You mean the telegraph? Yes, that wire speaks to everyone. Don't you know that? Look, I know all about it. It's very simple. Just think, when someone robs a bank in Tucson, it tells all about it all the way to Neville. Now, that's progress. But they're not going to find us that way. You mean, even if we send a message first? Oh, suppose you're a bank and you send a message to the town sheriff. Wouldn't he come to help you, even if you're in the desert? Yeah, but... If we can't use it, then it is not progress. You can't talk. Not if you mean like you talk. My teacher told us all about it. If you want to send a message, they have a special machine. You go down to the post office in town. Then, everything there is special. The only other problem is, there's a special alphabet, too. The alphabet? What kind of progress is this? Just when you need an invention, it's useless. Civilization. Pooh! <laughs> Hit it, go on. Let's see what's up. <laughs> so you want to fight, huh? All right, let's see what you can do. See, it's called boxing. It shows you how to give someone a bloody oh. nose, scientifically. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh. Oh. 
<laughs> See if your science can hit my stomach. Uh, go on. Oh, what's the matter? Oh, oh. Ah, your science is no good, huh? Oh. Does it hurt much? No, I said down, because you'll get tired. You rest a while. We must be careful still, Juan. But I feel strong again, Martine. <laughs> Start heading back, right? Then you can meet my mom and dad. I've thought about it. Please, it's important. You must, you must. Mother's pretty. She makes a different cake every day. I don't want mother to get too worried about me. And dad, he reads to me at bedtime. Often I go to sleep in his arm. I'd sure feel awful if he worried. My dad says I gotta study, and I gotta. You know, at the school we go to, there's a great new teacher. And you know what? He says we gotta start training ourselves to be useful in the world. So I don't know. Quick. No, leave that alone. Hey, what's got into you? Why'd you shoot these two men? They got what they deserved. They were two scorpions. Then I guess you did right well to shoot. Adios. Adios. I got to go now to Mexico. 
Yeah, but you'll get to come back here, right? Yeah. We have a fine friendship, one that means very much. We have seen a lot together. Ah, I almost forgot. It's yours, isn't it? No, you keep it. So you won't forget me. What is it? Who is this lady? She's... She's my wife. She would have liked you to have it. She's pretty, Martin. Your wife lives in Mexico? Many years ago, my wife died. I want you to keep it. Oh, no, you ought to. No, no, now it's yours. It would please her if you had it. Go now, one. Adios, Martin. How do you find me? I work here. A man must live. Uh, can you still write? Of course I can. Will you write something for me? Here? No. Over there. I declare that Martin Rojas swears that he will sacrifice all rights to his son, to one red Stacy. Did you write that? See? And to promise from this day never to see him again. Then you put this, if my word is broken, let my soul be then forever. But Martin, you have it. All right, Martin. Firma. Swear to me that this letter will get sent to Stacy. It will. What's this? It's rich meat. Haven't you ever seen vultures circling over the desert when they smell meat? Well, here in Quemados, you'll see it. Now, fix me something to eat, huh? what do you say? <laughs> Kenny, hey, come on. Lucas, he's back. 
She's over there. It's about time. Come on. You two come with me. Three more out there. So, the man I saw escaping was really Martin Rojas. Si, si, senor. Now you know the whole story. Ned, telegraph Tucson at Phoenix that Rojas is heading for the border. Then get every man you can depend on and tell them to saddle their horses. We're going after him. Pardon, senor. But now that you know the whole story, do you think it's so important now that you arrest Rojas? What do you mean? Nothing. I just wanted to say, well, that old man, if he reaches the border, he... he uh... That old man, as you call him, is carrying $200,000. Ned, get over to the telegraph office. It will only be a waste of time. Rojas will not head for the border. How would you know? I know him well. He never leaves something undone. I'm almost sure he's heading for Trevor's hideout right now. Hell. Exactly where is this hideout? Can you tell me? That I wouldn't know. My son knows. He can find Trevor.
someone outside. Honey? Lucas? Who is that? I'm Martin Rose. Trevor! Are you going to come out? Or do I go in? You're afraid to fight, huh? Tables are turned. Your time's run out. You overplayed your hand. Say your prayers now, Rojas. You're still planning to come and get me. Now's your chance. I'm not a gambler. You, my friend, are just unlucky, that's all. One last thing. If I die, I'll bang together with the money. Now here's your chance. what you were asking me for a long time ago. You'll find them burning. You ought to get them while you can. Or you could get some lead in your head. You better get it, or there's not going to be anything. All right, you. Now you pay me at last. You know, I'm going to tell that brat the one thing he still doesn't know yet. That a cheap, barefooted Mexican bandit, a small-time pig thief, was his father. <laughs> now what do you got to say? Imagine what that boy's going to do when he discovers you're his father. You'll see Juan look right at you with nothing in his eyes but hate. It's 
me, Juan. promised to come back, but now he never will. <laughs> what did they kill him for? He was a good man. I think we'd better go home, you know. Your mother will be worried. 